welcome back to my channel. We are doing something a little bit different today, as you can tell. I'm not in my usual setup, and that is because I wanted to do a clothing try-on haul for you. I got a few pieces from the brand Bowden. I have never really seen much from them before, but I started to get bombarded with Instagram ads and the curiosity built and built until I searched them out, and I realized that Nordstrom actually carries a few pieces. I know I could have just gotten these from Bowden.com, but I hate doing that. I just, I hate doing that. And now I know like I can always just drive them back to Nordstrom. I had no idea what size I would be. And in my experience, British brands went really, really tiny. So I did get three dresses. Coincidentally, when I was searching for them, there was a little sale going on. So I figured, well, might as well get a few of them and then I can always return things. I did get two different sizes. So if you like me had no clue what you would suit, what size you would be, hopefully this will be helpful. Um, they are just all a really, really soft, viscous material here to start out with. Um, I just have a long sleeve dress. Okay, first up, we have this mini dress. It's navy, it just has a little brown and pink pattern on it. They all come with ties, but this is really the only one that, that needs it because it doesn't cinch in at the waist like the other ones do naturally. It just kind of flows down, which makes it really, really comfortable. This is a size six. I believe that's a UK 10, but I didn't know what I would fit in Bowdoin, but I figured with the nice flow of this, even if it's a little higher, like even if there's some more room, it'll still just look nice. Um, yeah, I would say that these are true to size and the viscose and elastic definitely gives a lot more room. I have plenty of room in my chest without it feeling too baggy. Nice nipped in at the waist and again, like it fits in the hips. I'm gonna have to have mod shots so that you can see the full length. Um, but I'm really happy with this and also, you know, I don't have any makeup on right now. I don't know if anyone would agree, but I think this still looks pretty good. Yeah. I think this was a really good find. And also it looks good with tall boots, short boots, heels, whatever. Um, I think that this would even look good with sneakers. I really like to have most of my wardrobe easily 80, 90%. I like it to be three season at least. So covering spring, summer, fall, or fall, winter, spring, just adding or taking off layers. I wore this just the other day to my husband's birthday dinner when I had a winter coat. I think it was below freezing out. I had tall boots on if it was even colder or if I had to walk a longer distance because I only had to go from the car to the restaurant, but I could always add tights. This is really, really soft and comfortable. Oh my gosh. I had no idea. I had no idea it had pockets. What? I. I kid you not, I've worn this dress and you know, I was talking with my hands but trying not to and so I just had them down in my waist and I felt a seam. I'm like, what is that? And it's pockets. Oh, that's so great. Okay. I think the pockets are, the fabric is just way too light to put anything substantial in them, but oh, that's so comfortable. <laughs> Now maybe my hands won't be like flying everywhere when I'm just jibber jabbering. Anyway, this is the first dress. I can't remember if I've said this already because I'm not used to this setup when filming. I swear I will get more organized with practice. But this is a size six. I think with Bowdoin, you, it's true to size, at least depending on the cut and the fabric since this is so soft and has some stretch in it. You could go true to size. If you are broader or have a bigger chest than me, you might want to size up. And then the nice thing about the belt is you can just cinch it in and the fabric is, I don't want to say thin as in like bad, but it is a thinner, lighter fabric. So it's just going to flow nicely. Anyway, let me show you the next two dresses. I hope the lighting is okay in here. Like I said, never really filmed in here before, so I'm just winging it. But I did bring out my box of belts to show you. I immediately took the strings for this dress and the next one, put them in here, and they'll probably never get touched again because this does nip in, and I like it better with the belts I have. So the next dress I have to show you, it's actually exactly the same, but it is in a smaller size and a different color. This is the US size six. And really, there is almost no perceptible difference, at least from what I can tell, maybe you can see a difference. 
Maybe the other one is a smidge snugger in the waist, but I like how this comes in. It hits me just barely above my natural waist, um, so it's not too much of a baby doll style, which I'm, I'm not into, but I still think this is really flattering. It is a mini dress. It has ruching going down the chest and the arms. I think actually that works really well just to just bring everything in and be more fitted so that it can flow out at the waist and not totally lose your shape. I am going to cut the little strings off and I can't believe I didn't realize immediately that these have pockets, but this is so soft and comfortable. I think this will be really great in the summertime. Um, I brought out some of my belts just because I think they are cute, but this looks good without. Um, I can imagine wearing this with a jean jacket, with boots, um, black boots, bloots, <laughs> bloots, boots, or tennis shoes, um, wearing it in the spring or summer. With this, uh, I could make this smaller, but I don't like it when you can see like the flow of the skirt. Maybe what about this one? So this is on a blue, base. By the way, if you are not thrifting your belts, you should totally check those out um, because there's some really, really great finds. I often get belts for like one to two dollars. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I really, really like this. <laughs> there is a mirror behind you, so I am sorry if I'm looking over there, but just to get a good idea of how this fits um, on the navy background of the dress, and then with the soft pinks, reds, browns, I feel like there's so much versatility here. I could, I could just pull in so many different colors. Um, I could imagine this with a jean jacket, really with, with any of my jackets, especially either something that is cropped or to roughly the same length of the dress. I really like it. I like those proportions. Really, what belt couldn't I wear this with? So, there's actually some light tan in this, so any belt I have, pretty much. I don't think I'd wear this with black, um, just because why, you know? I mean, black would work, but, but why, you know? When you could wear something colorful. Um, I'd highly recommend checking out thrifted belts. I think this one cost me like 50 cents. Also, the thing about black is it tends to just be so harsh and really draw the eye in. Whereas I like how these just kind of, even though they're breaking up the pattern and that could potentially make me look shorter, um, I think there is a nicer flow and it does show immediately where my waist is. But yeah, I've talked so long about this one dress. Let me show you the blue one in the size four. Okay, so here we have this blue, green, yellow, and white one, lots and lots of colors. And actually, immediately putting this on after the size six, as I said, this is the size four, I can feel a noticeable difference. It is significantly more fitted at my waist. I can feel it in my arms. Because the fabric is so soft, it makes no difference, like no practical difference. I don't really think it's that noticeable, but I can feel it. Um, so there's certainly no harm in sizing up, particularly if you have a bigger cup size, if you have broader shoulders. Um, I am usually a US size 4 to 6, sometimes like 10 or 12 in vintage. Um, I don't think I have particularly broad shoulders, but I do wear a 34D bra and I just wanted something that was like comfortable, flowy, flattering, just something really nice for summer. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I really like this one. I actually think that the other colors are better on me, but I don't know, this is my face. <laughs> I, I like them both. Um, let me see. I think that the other one, I think the other one is more versatile. You know what, with it being nipped in at the waist anyway, I don't think it needs it regardless, like, but that's cute, actually. The yellow in the dress, I just need to, I don't want to bother with it now, but I want to make this a little bit tighter so that it sits like this, but I think the yellow in the dress with the cold of the frogs, this very neutral like charcoal blue gray, 
of the belt. I think that works out nicely. I could see this just with simple white trainers, um, sandals, anything like that. That is everything I wanted to share with you. I realized that this video is probably going to be way too long. Hopefully I can edit it down just to show three dresses, but I will have the sizing details listed down below in case you missed them in the video. I think these Bowden dresses are super cute. I will link them if I can. They were about 30% off when I bought them. They are normally 98 US dollars, and I think that's a little bit steep, but hopefully the quality is there. Hopefully these hold up. I know that it had a lot of information on the tag about it coming from sustainably grown trees and the cellulose that's made that's used to make viscose. So that's kind of cool. Um, it is a really nice lightweight fabric. I will report on my Instagram how these things wash because that is the most important thing to me. I will likely wash them um, on the delicate cycle, probably on cool because um, I know that viscose can shrink and then I'll just line dry them. I'll lie them flat on um, on my drying rack. But yeah, um, really quick please with, with this little mini haul. I did not mean to keep all three of these dresses. Oh, so with them being on sale, I really thought, oh, well, I'll find out am I the four or the six and I'll return them, but they both work out and I really like the colors. So I'm definitely keeping both. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Oh, why am I like so nervous just standing up and filming, you know? Oh, it's really weird. Oh, my husband's coming home soon. Oh my God, I'm talking so much with my hands. Do, 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 do. I wonder if I can just like, oh, is there a way for me to like work out? Just like, okay, I've talked with my hands and I'm done. Okay, YouTube friends, if you have made it this far, please tell me what makes you less anxious when filming because like I got used to filming in my little filming hole and now I'm trying to branch out guys. I, I am trying to be more experimental. Standing. <laughs> okay because I want to do my one thrifted haul um, which would really be a lot easier if I could do it in a similar setup but for some reason, just standing in front of the camera is like way more anxiety inducing. Anywho.